Hello everyone, welcome to 100 most asked network engineer interview question and answer series. Guys, today I am going to discuss 5 more important questions, right? This is day 4. This is day 4. I had discussed 15 questions and today I am going to discuss 5 more questions, right? 5 most important network engineer interview questions. So go to question number 16. So question number 16, I had discussed this thing right in previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch this that video first, right? What watch first three video after that? Yes. So first question for the day is what is VLAN? Yes, your interviewer can ask you to explain VLAN. What is VLAN? how vlan works right uh, so answer of this question is vlan stand for virtual local area network virtual local area network so you have to answer like this vlan stand for virtual local area network it is a small separate broadcast domain on a switch right it is a small separate broadcast domain right guys by default all port of switch belongs to a single broadcast domain right so with the help of vlan we can divide that broadcast domain into multiple domain right we can divide a single broadcast domain into multiple broadcast domain with the help of vlan right so you can see over here by default by default all ports of switch belongs to belongs to single broadcast domain but with the help of vlan we can divide one broadcast domain into multiple broadcast domain and that a small broadcast domain is known as vlan virtual lan and you can also say vlan is a custom network right it is a custom network or vlan is a logical network right so actually what is vlan suppose this is my switch and i am connect connecting 10 computer through this switch so this 10 computer belongs to a single broadcast domain so we can create two vlan on this switch suppose vlan 10 or vlan 20 i am going to create two vlan on this switch right after that i will make member of first first five port to vlan 10 and last 10 port to vlan 20 now how many broadcast domain are there now there is two broadcast domain right and how many virtual lan are there so there is two virtual lan so that virtual lan is known as vlan fine okay so next question is what is vlan again no next 17 number question is what do you mean by cat guys this is also vvi question vvi very very important question what is cat so cat stand for category cat stand for category which is started from cat 1 right started from category 1 and now extended up to cat 7 7 category 7 right now it's upgraded to cat 7 right so improved version or category of cable improves the quality of data transmission and enhance bandwidth this is very important point right so improving version or category what we are improving we are improving bandwidth right we are improving bandwidth the updated version provides more stability fine now in cat1 if i talk about cat1 so cat1 is used for voice only voice only right cat1 was used for voice only now after that cat1 is upgraded to cat2 right so cat2 is used for voice and data communication but bandwidth was 4 mbps right in cat3 cat3 is also used for voice and data communication but bandwidth was up to 10 mbps right and in cat4 cat4 is used for telephone networks for voice and data transmission but bandwidth was up to 16 mbps and cat5 is used for telephony and video right 
on video so very important point for cat 5 category 5 cat 5 means category 5 right cat 5 is used for telephony as well as video and what was the bandwidth for cat 5 100 megahertz right not mbps it's megahertz right if i talk about cat 6 so cat 6 increased to performance by up to 250 megahertz if i talk about cat 7 so guys cat 7 is your ethernet cable right that cable you are using nowadays in your lab network right ethernet cable cable so it is the newest cable category that operate at a speed of 10 gigabits per second at 100 meter of cable and transmit frequency up to 600 megahertz 600 megahertz megahertz fine so let me check next question okay next question is apiba this is also vvi question this is also vvi question for interview right for the fresher many time interviewer is asking this question right what is apipa so apipa stands for automatic private ip addressing automatic private ip addressing a dscp client can automatically configure an ip address and subnet mask from dscp server right you know guys but suppose if there is no dscp server or suppose if my dscp server is not working fine right or not available then the client will configure a random ip address from class b range that is 169.254.0.12169.254.255.254 and default subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 right so this is also vvi question right you have to practice you should practice on it how to speak in interview right so apipa stands for automatic private ip address as you know a dscp client can configure ip address automatically from dscp server with subnet mask right but suppose if my dscp server is not working or if my dscp server is not available in my network then client will configure a random ip address from class b range that is a to a right and default subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 this is a pipa this is a pipa let me check next question next question okay this is also vvi question again vvi guys all question are vvi right all question here vvi right so interviewer asking this question nowadays no in an interview right that's why i mentioned this question so all question is vvi how many states are there in ospf so ospf has to go through seven state in order to become neighbor right to become neighbor OS in OSPF, right? OSPF has have has to go through seven state, and that seven state is that seven state is down state, down state, init state, two way state, access start state, exchange state, loading state, and full state, right? In OSPF, I had discussed this thing, right? What is the use of down state, init state, two way state, access start state, exchange state, loading state, and full state so you have to remember this seven states right so ospf has to go through this seven state state to become neighbor fine let me check last question and last question is last question is router id selection in ospf how a router select their router id in ospf how a router select their router id in ospf so any man manual configure OSPF router ID is in OSPF process is selected as router ID. Any manual configure OSPF router ID is in OSPF process is selected as router ID. That means if I will configure manual router ID on router, then that router will select that router ID, right? But suppose, suppose if there is no ospf router id configured right if there is no ospf router id configured then router will select highest loopback ip address as their router id right the highest ip address on any of the router loopback interface ip so why loopback 
because physical interface can be done but logical interface cannot be done right so that's why why router is electing uh, router id of loopback interface highest ip address of loopback interface right but if there is no any loopback are there on router then if there are no loopback interface configured then highest ip address on its active interface is selected as ospf router id so first first if manual configured are there then router will elect that router id right if there is no manual configured router id on router then router will elect highest ip address of loopback interface if there is no any loopback ip address then router will elect router id of highest physical interface ip address okay so guys that's all that's all for today so this is your five more most important question for network engineer interview right i am talking about fresher right fresher if you are fresher preparing for network engineer in, in job right then you should focus on these five question right and that's all for today if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel to get updated whenever i will upload next video right so that's all for today bye bye guys thank you we will meet in next video with five more important most important question with five more most important question right till then stay safe thank you thanks for watching bye bye